This will be for the con assignment, radians, and arc length. So, the arc length is basically a piece or portion of the circumference. So, in this problem here, we're looking for the length of this arc. Okay, arc length is uh, referred to as S in terms of variables. All right. So we can uh, set up a formula for this. We can set up a ratio and proportion and get the formula. Okay, so this fraction here, we will make this the uh, angles. And this fraction here We'll make this the, uh, let's see, we'll make this the circumference. All right, and for the numerators, it will be the piece or portion of the whole circle, and the denominators will be the whole circle. All right, for the angle, really, I can, I, we can say central angle. All right, and these are all in radians. All right, so what is the piece? Well, I'll tell you what, we won't even, we won't even look at this particular problem. Let's just do the formula first. The piece or central angle is considered the Greek letter theta, okay? So that's going to be theta. And the whole circle, if you go once around a circle, we know it's 360 degrees, but in radians, okay, it's going to be 2 pi radians to go all the way around a circle. That's an angular measurement, okay? Okay. And circumference, a piece of this circumference is the arc length here. We call that S. And we know the formula for the circumference once around a circle. That's going to be 2 times pi times R. That's the formula for circumference. Okay, so we can use this for all of these problems when we're dealing with radians and arc length. All right, but we can actually simplify this formula okay if you'll notice we have 2 pi in the denominators on both sides so we can easily get rid of that all right so let's see I'm gonna multiply both sides by 2 pi all right, we have an equation. We can just do the same thing to both sides. And you can see what happens on both sides. 2 pi divided by 2 pi, it cancels. And on the right, 2 pi over 2 pi, it cancels. But we still have the r. So right here, we have theta equals s over r. Remember that S is the arc length, and of course, R is the radius. And solving for S, we can multiply both sides by R. And the R's cancel here, R divided by R. And we have S equals R times theta, okay? Or they might usually write it as theta times R, same thing. So this is the formula for arc length, but only when you're dealing with radians. All right. So you can use the uh, you can use the fractions if you want the ratio and proportion, but the formula is easier when you're dealing with arc length and radians. All right. So s equals theta times r. So here we go.
S equals theta times R. Okay, okay, our central angle theta, we can see that's pi over 4. And the radius R, that's this length right here, 2 centimeters. Okay, 2 divided by 4, we can cancel the 2. And it's just going to be pi over 2. Right in the box. So, let's see. You can click the pi symbol. Or you can type pi. And the pi symbol appears. Then hit the slash 2. So we have pi over 2. Okay, so same formula. Arc length S equals theta times R. All right. And in this problem here, they're looking for the central angle theta. That's the measurement of this angle. So we can just use some simple algebra. Okay, in place of S, that's the arc length. Okay, so this is S right here, 14 pi. In place of theta, we don't know. In place of the radius r, that's this length right here, 12 centimeters. Okay, and solving for theta, we just divide both sides by 12. Okay, I'm not sure if Khan will make us reduce this fraction. Let me just check. I'll try to enter 14 pi. I'm going to type 14 pi then the slash then the 12 okay so it's not going to make us reduce the fraction if you wanted to um, I would divide the top and the bottom by 2 14 divided by 2 is 7 12 divided by 2 is 6 and we still have the pi okay you can put the pi in the numerator or you can put it out front. That's the same thing. Okay, an arc sub 10 is a central angle, 3 pi over 2. What fraction of the circumference is this arc? All right. So they're basically asking us how much of the circle is this arc. Okay, if you look at it, if you just eyeball it, to me it looks like it's about three-fourths, right? Because this is one-fourth, this is one-fourth, this is one-fourth, and this is one-fourth. Looks like it's about three-fourths. But all we have to do is make it based on this angle here. Okay, this angle... From here to here, that's 3 pi over 2. And we said that all the way around the circle, the angle is 2 pi. So we just take that original central angle and divide it by the angle of the whole circle, which is 2 pi. All right. So 2 pi is the same as 2 pi over 1. And remember, when you divide fractions, you take the reciprocal of the denominator and then you multiply. So we have 3 pi over 2. Okay. You flip the bottom. So it's going to be 1 over 2 pi. You just flip it and you multiply instead of divide. Pi divided by pi cancels. Multiplying numerators, 3 times 1. Multiplying denominators, 2 times 2. That's it. So this thing here is 3 fourths of the whole circle. Okay, you don't need to know the arc length or the radius. All they did was ask the fraction of the whole circumference. So you just put 3 fourths, 3 slash 4. All right, easy one here. They want the arc length S. 
So we just use the formula. S equals theta times R. Our central angle theta is 3 pi over 5. Our radius is 6. Okay, you can make it 6 over 1 if you like. It's the same thing. Multiplying numerators. 3 times 6 is 18. And we still have the pi. And the denominator, 5 times 1. Can't reduce it. So that's it. I'm going to type 18 pi. Or you can click the pi key. And then hit slash 5. So it made it a fraction. All right, one more. They want us to find the central angle theta in radians. All right, so we just use the formula. S equals theta times R. Okay, since we're solving for theta, we can do the algebra first. I'm just going to divide both sides by R. And the R, R's cancel on the right. So theta equals S over R. S is the arc length. So that's 5. R is the radius. So that's 2. And that equals theta. 5 over 2. So type 5 slash 2.